biggest Persian community outside of Iran is in Los Angeles. My mom taught me how to cook Persian food. We're going to get a little taste of it today. I don't want to be the show, Stephen, where we just look at food. We're going to eat this. Well, we will. We're going to eat we it. We will, yeah. To play in a World Cup for my parents' country is unbelievable. You know, we here at LAFC, it's all about bringing the community together with our club, with our city, and yes, with a little food. So this was perfect. Stephen Betashur, Iranian international. We're joining here from Shamshiri Grill in Westwood. This is the, uh, we're in the Persian Square. Yes. You live from Northern California, but now you get to come down here and experience this. But there is a big Persian uh, community here. Um, Westwood, Beverly Hills, this is on Westwood Boulevard and we're at one of the finer establishments. If you ever come eat Persian food in LA, there's a good chance you're coming to Shamshiri Grill. Correct? Yeah, it's the biggest Persian community outside of Iran is in Los Angeles. So they got unbelievable food and we're at one of the best places. You're telling me also in Canada, you were blown away because you live in Vancouver. Yeah. And they had a big Persian community just to show how, how the far reaches of this community and how prevalent it's become. Yeah, I was surprised, you know, when I moved to, to play for Vancouver Whitecaps for a couple of years in North Van. Man, there's so many Persians, Iranians there, and I was kind of blown away from it. And then, obviously, everyone knows about Los Angeles, so yeah. uh, I was happy when I was coming back, back to my people. There you go. <laughs> so we have a big feed coming on. Yeah. You're going to order for me. Actually, <laughs> let's just touch, let's touch, what, what am I getting here? This is the traditional drink? Traditional Persian drink. It's called Dur. Very tough to say for a, <laughs> right. for a non-Farsi speaking per person, but uh, yeah, it's carbonated uh, minty, Yogurt drink. Uh, what are your thoughts? It, it's an acquired taste, but yeah. I like the aftertaste, and yeah. it kind of cleans the palate. Yeah, which will have does. a lot of palate cleaning going yeah. on here. We, yeah, I want to get your thoughts a little bit about growing up in a Persian household, and you were telling me uh, Persian and Assyrian, which is also part of the Iran as well. Yes. So this is a pretty unique uh, upbringing for someone in San Jose. It's something that I think I'm, I'm blessed to to have a culture that we're proud of. You know, being from uh, you know Persian and Assyrian background. Uh, both my parents born in Iran. Every day growing up, more often than not, we were having Persian food. My mom was fantastic, but yeah, I'll, you I'm, I'm biased. I think her food's the best. But uh, you know, all our friends would always come over, and, and whether she's making hormuz sabzi, lubia polo, kebab, friends were always coming over. Uh, it's an extensive everyone, menu. Yeah, everyone loved her food, and uh, we're gonna get a little taste of it today. Your parents came over in the 60s, correct? Um, but there was a big movement of the Persian community after the Islamic Revolution yeah. in Iran, which was 1979. 79, yeah. My dad, like many Persians, uh, was an engineer, electrical engineer. So he came here for work, brought my, my uh, mom here, and then they started a family. All, all my siblings, we were born here. So I think it was mostly for work. He worked for Apple uh, for quite some time, you know, back with Steve Jobs and Wozniacki. And, wow. Yeah, he was part of the original crew with, uh, with Apple. And so when you, you get cooler every yeah, time right? I talk to you, dude. <laughs> Now you, as an adult, how often do you get to cook it yourself? My mom taught me how to cook Persian food. The only thing is it's uh, very time sensitive. You know, you have to make sure that you've got three, four, five hours, you know, ready to go. So it's, it's worth it. It's unbelievable, it tastes great, but like, so this one right here is my favorite dish that my mom would make growing up, lubia polo. I don't want to be the show, Stephen, where we just look at food. We're going to eat this. Well, we will. We're going to eat we it. We will, yeah. Give me a little taste. Something. So, we're gonna go Luby Polo, just little sides for you. Again, <laughs> growing up, this was my favorite. 2014, you were okay. with the Iranian national team. You yes. got the call and you got to participate in a World Cup. That must have been that was that must have been great. That was unbelievable. It was a dream of mine to play in a World Cup. And you know, growing up in a Persian household, we are always known as Iranian Americans. So yep. Being able to play for Iran, it was it was a blessing. You know, obviously both my parents were born there, so to play in a World Cup for you know my parents' country was unbelievable. Who was your favorite Persian player? Adi Dali was my favorite, just because. Fun fact: he has the most international goals anywhere of anyone anywhere, of anyone of any country. Most international goals, Adi Dali. Fun yeah. fact: he also had a great mustache. Yes. So we ready to to dig in? Yeah, we're ready. All right, this is the part of the job I like. Let's get some grub. Thank you. 
on the next episode of Taste of LAFC. We got dessert here. We have a little chai tea. Yes, some chai. And they said you're supposed to put the, the sugar cube in your yeah, mouth. Yeah, you just put, put it in your mouth every time you drink. You know, I don't know how hot it like, is, but... I can't do it. Not Try too hot. So you just put it in your mouth, you get a little bit of sweetness. And, uh... Oh, we're good. No, you just put it in your mouth. Leave it in your mouth on the side. It doesn't matter. This way you get a little bit of I sweetness. I can't conduct the interview. No, yeah, so you can't do that. <laughs> can't do the interview. Uh,